السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركات إن الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم وقال الله تعالى في القرآن أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم لا إكراها في الدين قد تبين الرشد من الغي فمن يحفر بالطاغوت ويؤمن بالله فقد استمسك بالعروة الوثقى لن في صام لها والله سميع عليم Today I'm talking about uh, the, the, the message from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Quran which is very lucid, very clear, very comprehensive and understandable for every individual. The message itself states, this is one of the ayah from Quran that states, La ikraha fiddin, there is no compulsion in acceptance of deen. It is upon none you know, by force to accept a deen, any religion, that's free, free will for any, any person, for any individual. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not force anyone, compel anyone to come on the right path. Instead, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said there are two ways, we have given you two paths now it's up to you to go on this path or this path choice is yours but one path leads to you know bad result bad consequences evil consequences your destination will be horrible terrible that will end up in a hellfire and the other path that leads to some things uh, awesome, something nice, something super, some, you know, very good consequences that you, you will be uh, so uh, happy to find this, this kind of consequences. That's, that will lead into, that will end up into your entrance in Jannah. And this path and this path, both paths, you know, are before us. And after the revelation of Quran, Quran al Hakim, Quran is, is the book Al Furqan that separates Haq and Batil, right and wrong, that guides us and tells us everything about you know the both paths if we choose this path for our life to, to go on, we will not be you know uh, happy. So look at this Surah Al-Baqarah from Qur'an, the, the, the Surah in the beginning of Qur'an, the Qaw, that translation of Al-Baqarah is Qaw. And this Surah, uh, this Ayah from, uh, uh, this Surah is Ayah uh, 246. La ikraha fi din qad tabayyana rushd min al So rushd and ghay, the right, is clear from the from the uh, wrong now these both think the guided path is clear from the misguided path now we cannot say we do not understand what is right or is wrong we don't understand what is <coughs> uh, pardon me what is important what is not important in my life what shall I do and what sh I shouldn't do we cannot say why? Because Quran has been revealed. Rasulullah has, has already come in the world, has already explained to us everything right and wrong. Now it's upon us what we choose. Which way do we choose? Which way of life do we go on? So that's up to an individual now. Quran guides us absolutely clearly everything 
so this kind rushed and ghay rushed that means guided path the clear the light lighted path is clear from the wrong path now absolutely quran has uh, cleared quran has told both ways absolutely clearly now so what is next next uh, uh, so whosoever right whosoever believes in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and chooses the right path and goes in the right path whosoever grasps right the the, the, the right path this urwat al is has different interpretations so one of the interpretations is this is quran wa sunnah if you have grasped the quran and a sunnah if you have stuck yourself to quran and a sunnah for spending your life you this 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 urwat al this is a strong one quran and a sunnah you will not find any any break in it it will not break it's a strong something strong you have held in your life so quran and sunnah guides us right path right way and that is for us and wallahu samiyun alim allah is the hearing most hearing and knowing he knows everything he hears everything he knows everything so we have to follow now the right path it's up to us we are responsible for our choice for our selection on on going the right path or the wrong path we cannot uh, hold anyone responsible for uh, our life for our choice for our selections and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not compel us to choose this one or to leave this one. It's up to us. But Quran has revealed both kind of lies, both kind of paths. If we tread on this path or we tread on this path, we're going to end up. And Quran also has told the results of both kind of life. Both, uh, both kind of consequences are now clear 100% clear so those who believe in Quran as a true book they should believe in Allah's statement in Quran on the, uh, in the Allah's message we must believe in Allah's message as a true 100% true message and whatever the consequences Quran has told us we we 100% uh, uh, you know believe in those messages inshallah ta'ala may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us ability to practice to to uh, believe in him and strengthen our iman our belief in allah and allahumma inna nas'aluka ilman nafiyan wa rizqan tayyiban wa amalan mutaqabbala jazakallahumma khayr barakallahu feek wa ma alayna illa al-balagh